Pretty princess, back with another video. So, today is my 11 year lock anniversary. 11 years of growing my hair. When I first started um, my locks, I had to cut off all my hair. Not all my hair, but a lot of my hair because it was permed. And so, when she did my locks, they were probably about this long. With this much straight ends. So, of course, she had to cut all that off. She had to cut all the straight ends off, so I was left with about that much hair. They were short. Um, I really, they just didn't look the way I imagined that they were going to look on my face. They made my face look rounder than what I thought, and then I wasn't used to that short hair because... I've always either had long braids or I wore long ponytails, you know, the, the fake um, ponytail. That was my signature look. If I didn't have braids, I was wearing a ponytail, a hair slick back, cute, um, fuzzy, curly ponytail. That was me. So when I got my dreads and, you know, I couldn't pull them back in the ponytail. They were so short. I couldn't do nothing with them. <sighs> that second or third month, I looked like a frizzy, I don't know. I don't know what they look like. I mean, but they just really were not what I thought were cute. But I said, I'm going to stick with it. You know, I was twisting so they stayed neat unless I washed them and then it would, you know, get frizzy or whatever. But I was doing a lot of twisting and, you know, I kept them neat. And then I got this idea to dye them blonde because everybody in my house had dreads. My ex-husband, who of course is not babe because I said ex-husband, my kid's father he had dreads first, and then my boys, they uh, decided to dread. And so, you know, they were not pressuring me, but they were like, oh, you might as well dread too, because you ain't doing nothing with your hair. And I was like, I'll do it for a little while just to kind of see, you know, if I like it. And all my friends were like, you ain't going to stick with that because... You like your hair to be smooth and slick or braids or whatever. You're not going to stick with that. It's, you don't like your hair to be short. And I don't. I don't like short hair on me. So, I stuck it out. I dyed it. I didn't like the color it turned out at first. Because it. I dyed it. I tried to bleach it. And I either let the bleach stay on too long because I didn't know what I was doing. And it turned my hair this weird, orangey, browny kind of color. And oh, I looked so crazy for about a week or so. Because I kept washing it trying to, you know, get the color to tone down because it was orange, literally orange. And then I finally got it to tone down to this really nice brown um, color that people started to think 
was my natural color until my natural color started to come back in because my natural hair color is not black it's a dirty browny kind of color but not blonde of course so they start growing and I was like okay I'm, I'm kind of digging this once they you know start growing out and start looking cute I was like oh yeah I'm gonna be able to do this and so I just kept them I just said, you know, I just made up my mind. This is going to be it. I'm keeping these locks. I'm, I just want to see how long they grow. And so it's been 11 years that I've had them. And I'm just really proud of myself that, for one, I stuck to it. You know, it was times when I didn't think they were cute. And... I have um, hypothyroidism, and for people that don't understand that, it can affect your hair and cause your hair to be really brittle and thin, and a lot of people have, you know, breakage. Um, a lot of people are not as fortunate as myself to, you know, have such a, a disease, and their hair continues to grow like mine have. I mean, I've even had doctors tell me, you know, you really, really one of the good patients when it comes to hair. But I noticed my hair is a lot thinner than it was when I first started my locks. So I stopped twisting because I felt like that twisting um, can cause your hair, can cause some breakage. So I stopped twisting uh, and I stopped uh, manicuring my locks and I started freeforming so I think this is my third year of freeforming just letting my hair um, basically do what it wants to do I wash and I pull them apart you know I don't want them to marry each other so when I wash I do separate them and I keep them separated but that's it so I don't use a whole lot of products. I think I went into that in one of my videos. I don't use a lot of products on my hair. By I have psoriasis and eczema. So my scalp is sensitive to oils and all of that kind of stuff. So I have to be really careful about what I use on my scalp. Or it will cause my scalp to itch really bad. So I know y'all saying, yeah, you done made this video, and you ain't even going to show us your hair. Yes. I'm going to show y'all. Because it's not often that I um show my hair. Usually my hair is pulled back in a, um, in a ponytail. And you can't really tell how long it is. So. That's my hair. And it touches uh, my lap. It's, the hair is actually sitting in my lap. It's that long. Um, so. As you can see, I don't, I don't twist anymore. I freeform. Yes, I'm gray. And you know what? I'm proud of it. I'm in my 50s. When you get in your 50s, your hair turns gray. A lot of people. I'm not saying everybody, but grandmas do have gray hair. So, that's my roots. And... See, I just let it grow. My roots are, are thick. I love that uh, lion's mane look. That true Rastafari um, look. You know, if if you decide, if you twist, you know, that's, that's your thing. I choose not to twist. I don't mind the little, you know, afro. In the front, I mean, that's just how my hair grows out of my scalp. 
my hair don't grow out of my scalp straight. It grows out of my scalp like that. And that's what you get. So, 11 years. And babe, we're going to insert some pictures that I took today so you can actually see how long it is here. So you can see the length in the back because I'm not about to stand up and twirl around and do all that kind of stuff. No. So that's it, y'all. Oh, let me show y'all my nails because I had went to the doctor and I'll make another video about my doctor uh, what's been kind of going on with me. But I went to the doctor today and these nails got all the attention. I mean, people was like, Oh my God, let me see your nails. Oh my God, your nails are so cute. I mean, my nails got more attention than I did. But they are cute though. My little dollar store manicure. Hey, for sassy and chic. Okay, 11 years, that's all I got. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye! One for the money, two for the show Don't play me, honey, this is how we go